Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to inspire and empower your wig journey with this cute little affordable style by Noriko. We're going to get into the full review of Noriko's Sally in Frosty Blonde. Coming up. I purchased this wig style from Wig Studio One. You can find it there too. All you have to do is drop below the video. I'll put a direct product link in the description box. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can take a look at all of the colors, the pricing options. Noriko styles are always a 30% off automatically at checkout with Wig Studio One. As soon as you put it in your cart, you'll see the discount. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. And don't forget to visit us on our other social media. We have tons of content going up on our YouTube channel, private Facebook group, and Instagram page. All of those links are below the video. It's a cute little voluminous boy cut pixie style that's super easy to wear. This is a part of my ongoing affordable wigs series where these are just really cute, a lot of times basic caps styles that are meant to go the distance. They last a long time. They're affordable in price. They're cute. They're comfortable. I'm giving you all the details on this one today. I think the price when you factor in the 30% discount at Wig Studio One is right around $100. So a wig style like this is really going to last. So I think it's an incredible value. So this frosty blonde color, we have seen this on lots of Noriko and Renee of Paris styles. I really enjoy the highlighting um, on this color and it could be a great gray transition color because it's really ash in tone. So it starts with a medium to dark ash blonde or light ash brown and then it's highlighted with an ash platinum and that gives it kind of a salt and peppery looking effect. It is not gray, there is no gray or silver in this color. But if you like ash tones, especially those ash on ash tones, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is not a rooted color, but the way the highlights are distributed, it really gives a lot of dimension. So it ends up giving the appearance of a root. So again, a beautiful ashy color. I have seen this color range anywhere from really light to really dark, depending on the amount of ash platinum highlights that are in it. This one seems to be really nice blending. Some of those platinum highlights are a little more thick and coarse, giving it some drama and interest. We're getting a lot of volume on that crown. There's a lot of permities on this wig, very much consistent with the Noriko brand. So we've got a lot of permities on top, on the crown and on the sides, and you're gonna get a lot of height and volume, or really high profile in the back, but in the styling segment, I'm gonna work with the heat from my hands to tame this because it can be smoothed and tamed, tamed and trained. A lot of times when you get a brand new Noriko wig, that's as big as it's gonna get because over time, after many, many wearings, you're gonna see where that uh, permatease does settle a lot and therefore the profile and lift will settle some as well. So Sally, again, a cute little pixie style. It has some boy cut features, meaning it has a nice slim temple, a, a volume on the top and the crown, and it tapers down into a very slim back, back and nape. So that front piece is about four inches. It's a lovely bang that scoots right over the eyebrow, no matter how you want to part it. It just stays out of the way and out of the eyes. And that tapers and feathers into some side layers here that wrap around the face and the ear tab. Excellent, excellent coverage. And then we're, we're looking at about a five inch crown area and then a two to two and a half inch nape. So you can see that it's very well tailored, very well sculpted. It looks salon fresh, these freshly cut layers. You know how when you used to go to the salon, you get the cut that you love and you just bounce out of there, just on cloud nine, right? And then within a couple of weeks, you know, it starts to grow and it doesn't look quite as fresh anymore. But um, in this case, it can be fresh every single time you put it on. Now, these are Noriko's, what I call workhorse fibers. Um, they're more hardy and denier 
and they seem to last a really long time, especially with a style that's as short as this one. I can see this one just lasting and lasting and being a real mainstay in your wardrobe. And, you know, with this price point, you could probably afford multiple colors or get a fresh one now and then without breaking the bank. This is Noriko's traditional cap. It's meant to last as well. It's a very hardy cap, well constructed, and you feel it on your head. If you like the security of the feeling of a nice beefy cap, this is gonna do it for you. It's not heavy. In fact, the Noriko styles fit me beautifully with the petite average circumference, probably better on a petite average than it would be for a an average large. But again, Noriko caps tend to relax a little bit with time. I've had Norikos for, I've had some Noriko styles that I've had for a really long time and I've had to cinch them in a little more each time just because they tend to get more flexible. So I love this little cute profile. You do not have to have a parting space on this one. You can just simply fluff it up and allow it to drift over the crown for a nice wispy look. There's not a heavy density at all on this style and I cannot see down into the presence of permatease. Now this is a color that has a little bit of a deeper base so in, and a lot of highlight. So that may be helping to disguise the permatease, but honestly, I cannot see permities down through. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do a full spin for you so you can see it from all angles. I'll give you a look at this color and style in outdoor light. Everybody, thanks for joining me today. Uh, there, I do have a full playlist of lots of different affordable wig styles out there. I'll go ahead and link it in the card section and below the video for you. We'll see you again. So one of the mistakes that we can make oftentimes is assuming that there are no styling options for short little pixies like this. Now, I think that based on that five inch crown and four inch bang, I think there's a lot we can do with this little pixie. So we're just gonna move it around. I can show you how it looks being manipulated. That'll give you a better sense of volume and actually potential of what you can do here. So I'm gonna try with glasses. Glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab on this style. Most pixies are pretty glasses friendly. Thanks everybody, we'll see you again real soon right here at Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.